All right, so far so good. Let us just uh, run our Laravel app again just to see what was created. So as usual, here, we're going to do a PHP artisan serve, PHP artisan serve, and it runs. Now it's running. We can refresh uh, just to make sure everything is running fine. Okay, so we're good. The first step is to actually create a registration since we don't have any user in our database. That is quite obvious. If we go to our database and click on browse, we'll see that there is no record right there. Okay, see it's empty. So we create a record of a user first of all. Click on register. And uh, this is what it looks like. So we're going to register a name and say Dave, uh, email, password. Just type any password of your choice. Any password you can remember. Type the password again. I'm thinking this password might throw an error because it's not long. But uh, let's see. There is an error. The password is not long. So I'm going to try a longer password. Longer password. Yeah, agree to terms, register. Beautiful. So we have registered, update password. Look at what our platform looks like. You see? We created all these beautiful menus for me. All these beautiful menus. You see? And now I can click on any of them. See this design? You see? This is incredibly beautiful. See this design? So that's the power of MPOM. It does this admin panel for you, gives you all the basics you need to work with. Okay, now you can go ahead and start doing your basic modifications. The first modification we want to look at is the menu. Look at there, are, this menu is repeating. Look at accounts, accounts. Why did it repeat? Because I did it twice. There was one I did while you were not looking, then I did the one I did while you were looking. So if we, if you made a mistake and you decided to re regenerate files again, it's going to um add fields again here so let's go and look for the menu this is where you're going to find the html that does this menu um, if you go to your code so here you go to resources go to views now you look at um layouts click on layout you see menu click on menu you see the list of the html that handles menu the first one we're going to see is the account you see this is the li tag that has the account so i'm going to delete the first one since i need only one i'll save ctrl s on my keyboard then i come back here and reload keep your eye here okay now we're good you see it is gone the next thing i don't need to see let me see on look at failed jobs first column not found unknown column failed jobs that deleted as oops ah uh, of course, we're going to go to failed jobs. We don't really need this table. It's just purely experimental. We're going to create a new field. I'm going to do it manually. Delete that. Like I told you, Infium always expects soft deletes. Always. Always. So I'm just going to say add one field after failed at here. Go. And uh, we're going to call it deleted at. And the type is going to be a timestamp. Timestamp of that T, T, T. So timestamp. Length of values. No length of values. Uh, default. It can be null, you see. No. And I'll click save. So I've added it manually. That's how to add. But when you, whenever you add a field manually here, you have to also come back and add it in your migrations all over again. In case you don't want to run migrations again so i'm going to go to database migrations and we're looking for failed jobs failed failed jobs here so we're gonna do table soft deletes okay so if we get back to our Laravel app now and reload, you see, 
we don't really need this this is just basically what laravel uses to track how many of your job queues are failed and stuff like that so this is not um this is not job as in employment it's jobs as in things that are running the back tasks that are running the background in laravel okay so um we look at invitations look at what invitations look like okay so one thing we can do is to rearrange this table this menu so that uh, we can have the ones the users need to see be at the top and then the ones only the admin needs to see will be at the bottom so what are the things that the users need to see for instance this should not be accounts you understand the user need to see only account my account so i'll come back to menu remember menu is in layout menu so i'm going to duplicate this and what the user should see is um let me try this okay cool so let's duplicate this copy paste so we now have two accounts the one the user should see is my account my account so somewhere at the bottom uh, admin should be able to see all accounts okay so i'll go to uh, maybe at the bottom i can call this admin section so this way we'll put all the links that admin uh, needs to see only admin can see so i'll put ad accounts all accounts all users okay all users should be only admin can see all users skills mm, yeah admin can see skills the user can see my skills my skills admin can see all skills why should admin even see all skills okay um roles user doesn't need to ever see roles so admin can see roles organizations user just need to see my organizations while admin can see all organizations so i'll paste it here duplicate it and change one to my organizations admin sees all organizations so paste it here skill my skills my organization organization users nobody needs to see this uh which user belongs to which organization it doesn't make sense it's gone so instead of completely deleting it let me just um let me just hide it this way makes sense so it's hidden now okay um jobs so these are just job postings okay open jobs so users should see my jobs okay so um if you click it takes you to jobs if you click on this one it takes you to your jobs you created and uh i think we should put them all in the same page there's a difference between there are three kinds of jobs there is jobs that you can apply for there are jobs that you created and there are jobs that um what else okay I think those are the two jobs so inside my jobs you can now see the two types of jobs jobs i apply for and jobs i created i'd like to make a little note um, so that i can remember jobs i apply for and uh, jobs i created okay beautiful beautiful uh, open jobs my jobs so here we have jobs all jobs we need to take one of these and make it all jobs admin needs to see all jobs all jobs on earth jobs okay instead of calling this open jobs we can call this apply for jobs you know something like that anything you want any terminology invitations okay 
you can see admin should be able to see all invitations all invitations to jobs users should see my invitations inside my invitations there could be two jobs i invited people to and jobs that people invited me to two different kind of jobs failed jobs nobody needs to see this but i'm just gonna dump it on the admin section but uh, like i said it was uh, it came with the larva thing very experimental countries nobody needs to see countries it's only admin that needs to ever see countries nobody needs to see list of countries ever okay nobody needs to see a list of countries ever now we have this we're going to write a code that to make sure that only admin can view these okay so we're going to do uh what's the code i'm going to do if of if the user that is viewing this row underscore id is less than three Remember that the first user is admin, that is ID1. I'm going to show you, it's going to be very clear going forward, okay? The first user is ID1, which is admin. Second user is going to be moderator, ID2. And third user is going to be um, employer, ID3. And fourth user is going to be job seeker. So we're saying if this person is not an employer, and it's not a job seeker that means their id is less than two which is it's either one or zero okay okay so we can say if the id is less than zero less than three then display this so we're gonna do and if so this way only admin can see this so if we come here and reload since we are not admin now, most of the links will disappear. See, most of them disappear. So what we're now seeing is my skills, my invitations, open jobs, my jobs, my skills, my organization, my account. So I'm going to rearrange this to make more sense. I'll put um, open jobs and job stuff from here to here. I'll put it at the top. Then invitations and stuff will be at the bottom. Okay, so here we're going to do skills and open jobs. To the top to the top it's just for design purpose the order of arrangement doesn't really mean nothing okay and then my account my invitations oops seems somebody made a mistake somewhere i made a mistake somewhere okay i've seen it okay cool skills okay open jobs my skills okay cool so if we refresh now the whole thing has been rearranged let me refresh so in the next video we're going to try and include um, icons okay as you can see all the icons look identical we may try to include icons otherwise we can just go in and actually start working on uh, these